Hello children guys in our new video. You know, I'm 33 years old. Two days ago I was celebrating my birthday. And I was counting that overall in financial market I'm for almost 13 years. And in this video I want to share with you my thoughts and conclusion in general what I understood by being in financial business for 13 years. So let's start. So right now I'm all the, almost in the board with the, another country calling Oman. And there is the farm when they are growing the oysters and after that all these oysters going for the most expensive restaurants in Dubai. There they will cost like a lot. Here it's very nice price so if you will be in this area I highly recommend you to visit it. Because they are super fresh. I eat oysters many many times but especially here they are the best. So in 2011, by luck or by mistake, in one of the events, I meet one my old friend from the university years. And he told me like, listen Alex, right now I'm working in one Forex broker company. In that period of time, it was something new for me. And he told me, listen, we have a position of account manager. If you want, you can join us. And this is how I came to, to this business. I was working in this company for one and a half years. By the way, this company was really bad. Like lots of the companies that were doing this kind of business in Ukraine. But it's given me a chance to understand how this business is working, how people are trading, how they are losing money, how they are making money. And this company sells to me this passion to financial markets overall. So after one and a half year, I decided that I want to resign and I want to start doing like trading by myself. I collect the some team, we was like around 10 people and we start managing funds of the people long time. So chapter number one, it was like a working like an employee in one of the Forex broker companies. Then by the way, I decided that I love like stock market more than Forex and I was trading in the Russian stock exchange until 2014 when the first like aggression started from Russia to Ukraine. Then I stopped trading, but I mean, in the beginning I was working like a sales, simple sales, then head of sales, then I was providing education, but then I, you know, I was so in love with trading that I decided I don't want to, to, to deal like employee, I want to start trading by myself and I start like making money. So I was working for almost from 2012 until 2014, 15 in the Russian stock exchange and then I decided to come back to the Forex. And to, until 2017, I was doing just in Ukraine with the local market, local forex broker companies that are not the best at all because the problem in my country that lots of the scammers, you know, and uh, if you are talking with someone about investments, about forex, it's the same like F words, you know. So when I decide in some points, you know, I decide, okay, I want to try something new. I want to go for international market. Before that, I was visiting Dubai. And one time, I remember in the winter evening, I was walking and I was planning where I will go for the winter vacation. And I said, okay, I want to go to Dubai and I will start searching for some partnership. I want to discover this market. So from 2017, you know, my point of view became a wider. I start working with international company. I saw that Forex might be totally different, totally different quality of providing services. And I start also working not just with the trading, but also like an IB. So I opened for myself new range of doing all these businesses. So this is it. And right now I'm like already I shift to Dubai. I'm working there. And uh, I really want to tell you what I understood during this. Can you imagine? 13 years. I'm so old. 
especially in this business. During all these 13 years, I saw many times how people losing their own money. And why they're losing money? They're losing money just because three reasons. Number one, they're not putting stop losses. Number two, they are trading with the huge trading volume. And number three, especially in the algo trading, because people start using averaging and martingale. This is the multiplier. Regarding martingale, I will create a full separate video. I want to discover for you all this topic. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel. But regarding two previous points, you know why they are losing? Because unrealistic expectations of the trading. Even yesterday, one guy contacting me through the YouTube and he started asking about MKL5, about trading bots, and then I asking him, okay, but what is your expectation regarding profit, maximum drawdown? And he's telling me, I want to try with $1,000, maximum risk is 20%, but I want to generate every month around six, $7,000. How we can continue a conversation with, with him? It's impossible. Listen, you need to understand one thing. Trading, this is the same business. It's impossible to open grocery or some another investments, you know, to get 100% return of investment plus 600 like a net profit. It's impossible. Your profit monthly might be up to 10% plus ratio between your maximum potential profit and the maximum drawdown will be one to three. So if let's say you are targeting 10% monthly, your risk should be 30% not more how not to lose money just if you don't have a strategy you will never make money by the way but how not to lose just put the stop loss of one percent of your deposit this is it and calculate volume based on that it's simple suggestion risk just one person and it will be difficult for you to lose your money this is the point you are not making money I'm meeting a lot of the people that in this trading many many years and they still stuck on some point maybe they are not losing but in the same time they are not making you need to have a strategy this is the point maybe it's very simple but if you doesn't have a strategy you doesn't have exact rules how to follow you will never make profit this is the point you know this is how I went to algo trading long time ago I was start involving myself in the strategy because especially through my first experience as I was working in the forest broker company I saw that I was start thinking that many people are losing money especially because there is no strategy and key point is to finding a good strategy and I start reading a lot of the books and one of the book that I found it was Charles Lebeau and David Lucas if I'm not wrong computer analysis of the futures market and part of the books it was around different kinds of the strategy and there was explaining around like 300 strategies and I asked myself questions but okay 300 strategies all of them has some logic but how to understand which one is working and this is how I came to algo trading algo trading not because I'm trusting to the bots but algo trading make this like model was giving me chance to make a back test you know and then when I start uh, like learning how to do this algo trading I start searching for the people who can make me with the algo trading I opened for myself huge and big news that lots of the strategies from the books are not working at all but if you will start learning the strategy if you will move forward with the testing with the back testing you know you will be way up front and other guys they trading like man manually without any strategy regarding nothing I, I was telling you one time I was in one event and I was listening one speaker and he was saying like you need to trade following your logic what does it mean your logic to the market it's nothing is zero you need to just to make a strategy follow these rules before following the rules you, you need to make a proper back test to understand is it working or no and this is it this is just how you can make a money
and in the end I want to speak with you regarding the trading strategy was exactly understood during all my experience so in the classical way if we will divide all the strategy on three points this is trend content trend and trading range I will tell you one thing the trend is not good at all I'm not following you I'm not recommending you to trade why what does it mean trend when we are trying to trade and following the trend and our profit will be based on major market movements what is the minus is that if we'll take all the market just 10 or 15 percent this is a trend movement everything else is short impulse some like counter trend movement and range so this is it so your profit will be super limited your accuracy will be not more than 35 percent and then you can stay in the market for let's say two months without any profit you know and this losses 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 will make your emotional stress that can also impact your trading number two for talking about range with the range what's the problem it's like different ranges you know depends on volatility and a lot of the strategy like working with the short range but then when it's range becoming a little bit wider it destroying your strategy at all so that's why i found the most difficult from these three this is the counter trend but in the same time it's the most profitable because every time there's the movement correction impulse correction and you can find your entry points in different instances of course trend strategy it's also possible to make a profit but from my experience i'll tell you from the beginning not more than 50 percent yearly and this is it and it also depends on the year if whole year no like major markets movement you will be in minus this is how it's working next point you need to be closer to the market what does it mean closer to, to the market in one of my video i will explain i was explaining to you that how market is building market glass or market deep then tick this is the deal between the buyer and the seller next point this is the creating of the candle you know based on some time frame the next point this is the creating full chart and another point is the indicator if you're trading and relying on indicator sorry it's very big delay and maybe you'll trade in minus if you are relying on the chart on the higher time frame so like you know i can tell you higher time frame lower profit this is it if you want to trade in the proper way not more than m5 this is how it's working in general in the market this is only how you will be able to make a profit anyway you know it's my journey and this is what i found and one of my next videos i want to show you like creating strategy and logic from the scratch what was the idea what was the back test what was the like final strategy and what is the result on the real account so this is it guys hope you're enjoying this video don't forget to subscribe to my channel because as i told you in our next videos i will show you way more information related for the trading stay tuned with the trading club and let's make money together see you in our next videos